An old model steam engine which was made circa 1896 and this is part 6. Fettling the inner parts of the flywheel casting to smooth it out. I was surprised that the crankshaft was not 730 seconds of an inch in diameter as I assumed it would be. I had to file the end of the crankshaft and open up the hole in the flywheel to make it fit. Unfortunately this old engine is not very well made at all. This was a long and quite laborious task, so I'm running the video at a higher speed just to get through it. I want the outer edge of the centre boss to be level with the spokes. Why? Because I've seen engines that are very old and they look a bit like this. In this video there is quite a lot of needle filing and you will notice I keep changing the shape of the needle file from flat to round to oval to get into the corners. This job is tedious yet quite entertaining at the same time in a bizarre sort of a way. I really do think I need to get out more. Gone are the days of sex drugs and rock and roll although in my case there weren't many drugs. And now I'm sat here using a needle file to clean up a flywheel. And to make it worse owing to my recent operation I'm one kidney down on the deal. I thought it would try a rotary scouring pad. This was completely ineffective and an utter waste of time, but I gave it the once over anyway. Although while thinking about it and watching the video, I did notice that it was very good for merging the centre boss into the spokes on the edges. These scouring pads are made from some sort of nylon material and it's quite important to wear eye protection because if you go too fast, parts of them fly off and will hit you in the face and I don't think you want this stuff in your eyes. I spent quite a lot of time with this scouring pad going around the edge of the centre boss where it meets the spokes and in the end it started to look the part. It's not perfect because it is after all a sand casting but it will be perfectly fine for its intended purpose. The problem that I have is the hole in the flywheel is 730 seconds of an inch and this horrible crankshaft is made from some rubbish piece of steel that isn't any particular dimension, it's not metric, it's not imperial, it must have been a piece of metal that was laid about in the signal box at the time the signal man was making the engine. Which as the title suggests was in 1896 or thereabouts. I'm sure a lot of armchair engineer keyboard warriors will look upon this with a bit of disdain. It's not really engineering at all. It's filing a shaft to the right dimension using a file. And to be honest, I'm not that bothered because I don't think this crankshaft's going to work out. The crank pin is far too thin and the entire assembly is very weak. I think I'll probably end up making another crankshaft but first of all, I just want to see, out of curiosity, whether I can get the engine to work in its original state. I will revisit this in another series after I've managed to make this run. Wish me luck. And just for a change, more filing. I'm getting quite fed up of this. I think what I'm going to have to do is enlarge the hole in the flywheel. How am I going to do this? I'm not going to use a boring tool. Instead, I'm going to use the idiot's guide method for enlarging holes in flywheels that won't fit on crankshafts. I tried the 730 seconds of an inch reamer, but that didn't really make it much bigger, so instead I'm using a twist drill, which is 730 seconds of an inch in diameter, and just carefully moving it around inside the hole. This should be okay. Not good engineering practice, I know. Neither is this. Rotating the crankshaft at a high speed and using a needle file, but it got me there in the end. But not yet, it was still too big. I was only taking off a very minute amount of metal, so now it's time to call the cavalry in. My Proxon motor tool fitted with a grinder. And as you can see from the sparks, this was actually removing sufficient metal. I had to be very careful not to create any grooves in the crankshaft though. I preferred to finish it off with a needle file. 
it's quite amazing how accurate you can become if you practice using a file. After a while, you develop a feel for what you're doing. I've done some good filing over the years, and plenty of it, which is why I'm sort of OK at doing it. I remember once a friend of mine's son was on an engineering course, and he had to make a test piece, and he really couldn't do it. And my friend brought the test piece to me, and I made it, and he got a distinction. Cheating, I know, but such is life. He never actually became an engineer. He ended up being a motor mechanic. After considerable time, finally, the flywheel fitted on the end of the crankshaft. And guess what? It's running quite true. Not perfectly true, but that is not due to my filing. That's due to the fact that the entire crankshaft is very weak at the crank pin. I can do no more in this episode. There's a lot more to follow in the next couple of episodes, including running the engine. But that's it for now. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.